my name is Marcus Smith, and here's profile one. And here's profile two. I like to perform and be on stage because I got to act, sing, dance, and tumble, which are four of my favorite things. And if I can put them all together, put them on stage, and help someone forget about their daily troubles, then I feel like I've accomplished something. And I also get to be any character I want, which is a lot of fun as well. I've starred in a lot of my school's productions. I've starred as Romeo in Romeo and Juliet, Puck in A Midsummer Night's Dream, Bugsy in Bugsy Malone, and Josh in Tulsa Academy, which was a self-written play by my school. I've also been a part of High School Musical, Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat, Our Day Out, and After Juliet. I've also done plays outside of my school with a company called Gilbert and Sullivan, and their renditions of South Pacific and The Producers. And I've also been a part of The Railway Children, where I played Peter in, for the Bermuda Dramatic and Musical Society. And I've also been a part of the Christmas pantomime, The Firebird. Uh, I want to go to the American Academy for Dramatic Arts. One, because I think the locations that the two schools are found in are really cool. Between New York and Los Angeles, there's a lot of opportunity there. And I think the networking experience would be insane. Also, because I live in Bermuda, there's not much opportunity for performing arts. I've managed to find as much as I could, but I feel like there could always be more. And I'd like to broaden my horizons, and I feel like I have potential. I just feel like that potential isn't being as pulled out of me as it could be. So I feel like moving on to that bigger stage somewhere in New York or Los Angeles at the Academy could only do me good. So I hope you enjoy my monologues. My name is Marcus Smith. I'll be playing the part of Valentine from After Juliet, written by Sharman McDonald. Can the prince change the habits of a lifetime of a word? Did his word bring my brother back to life? Do the dead live again because an amnesty is cold? And if they don't live, where is the peace? Where is Marcuccio now? There has been such a silence in the world since he has left it. I've never been alone. Not even in the womb, because we were twin souls, Marcuccio and I. But now, I'm cut in half, and my better part is gone. And his death has left my heart to beat a tattoo of hate. So the prince may speak his word, may speak and speak, but he cannot change my heartbeat. So, I'll follow you with the girl in friendship, but approach her and our friendship ends. My name is Marcus Smith. I'll be playing the part of the lawyer from Enron, written by Lucy Preble. I am a lawyer, and I'm one of those people who makes money when times get hard, when businesses fail, when unemployment rises, when marriages break down, and when men jump to their death. Someone divides up the money. At times like this, I feel as though we're exposed to what the world is really about. Now, I could tell you what the world's really about, but I don't have the time and you don't have the money. Every so often, a man comes along who thinks he can change the world. Can one man really do that? We look at some and pray to God it isn't so. But when times get desperate, we find that great man and we demand he changes things. Hypocrites. With every man comes a buried risk. The man I know that tried to change the world was the man behind the corporate crime that defined the end of the 20th century and cast a shadow over this one. Now, I am a lawyer, so you should know that when we tell a story, it might not be exactly as it happened. But we're going to piece it together and sell it to you as the truth. Here, in the heartbeat 
of the economical world, America. And inside the heart of America, Texas. And inside the heart of Texas, Houston. There is a company. <laughs>